Hello, welcome to the first podcast of Neuro Business School. Today we have the first one speaker, Henrik Gevargian. He is the senior partner growth manager at Google. So, and uh, today we are going to talk about digital marketing, digital marketing trends, how digital marketing trends are changing, etc. Welcome, Henrik. Hello, thank you for having me, Tatiana. Very nice to meet you. Thank you a lot for coming today. So let's start directly with digital marketing trends. If you could explain us how the industry is changing, what are the main trends nowadays? Okay, let's speak about trends and digital marketing. Digital marketing, I think, is the most fast-growing industry because what you learn like two months before is now different. Already, yeah. And after six months, you will not have the same. So it will be changed. So people who have experience, who have learned, like, let's say, five years ago and graduated, for sure now they have problems. I mean, you mm -hmm. need to be always on time. You need to be always in the process of learning. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you will lose the spot and you will become not effective at all. So uh what we had before what we had now and what we are going to it's already like a huge difference let's say uh field yeah mm -hmm. because before every everyone was thinking about going into digital now we are in the digital but no one was expecting that let's say the digitalization will jump into ai okay yeah, yeah artificial true. like uh intelligence mm -hmm. And what we have now is like totally different and it has changed dramatically. Mm -hmm. No one was ready for this. Even me as a like, uh, let's say, a uh, person who is working in the industry and is always on the trend every, every day, like going with, let, let's say, some learning because mm -hmm. even with our product, with uh, Google Ads, uh, each few months, something is changing and we okay. need to learn more. You know what mm -hmm. how to use it constantly yeah but i was not ready with this <laughs> okay. you know because it's like totally different thing and you need to understand okay how it will go in the future what will happen with me mm -hmm. you know because i think i might lose my job <laughs> because if uh, let's say um, yeah, yeah sure everyone it's effects mm -hmm. because if uh, you will be available to use it right Mm -hmm. For sure, like the people who are working in a digital marketing, they will have a huge competition in terms of uh, mm -hmm. AI. Okay, you know? I see. And how to how to maintain yourself like safe, <laughs> your job place safe? What most people are scared of nowadays that uh, artificial intelligence is going to uh, take off our places, job places and... What, what, um, what do we have to do? I think <laughs> first of advice? all, you need to become the best of what are you doing. Mm -hmm. If you are the best, you have ch a little chance, you know, mm -hmm. to keep your place. Second, till now, uh, AI don't have the um, creativity, let's say, as much as people Agreed. has, you know. 100%. In terms of, let's say, building strategy and etc. Yeah. Could it be innovation you, as well, yeah, right? about like you know creating new trends let's mm -hmm. say creative thing which help you like to grow i think still it's about creativity which keep mm -hmm. uh, people and professional keep their like job and position but again you know no mm -hmm. one was expecting ai to come mm -hmm. it's game mm -hmm. um, that fast yeah, <laughs> incredibly yeah, <I'm> sure. like, <laughs> like maybe, wow <laughs> maybe i don't know next year we will have ai will will be uh, creative you know, mm -hmm. it will give you creative ideas about how to create uh, content. Maybe mm -hmm. already it's you existed, know? you know, <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. yesterday it came. I don't have the information, but mm -hmm. uh, till now I will tell you this. Okay, you know what is going on with us as a business school? Some students are coming uh, to us while writing their final diploma and uh, asking us, can I write it with the help of uh, uh, chat GPT or something like that? And so it's better. Um, because it depends. 
like they are writing their final diploma for themselves mm -hmm. so for us it's really important that they use it in the future uh they do implement these business plans in the future and when you read the text of chat dpt yes mm -hmm. or no you can understand that it wasn't written by a human being and the problem of the chat dpt as we see it nowadays is that it's still not humanized mm -hmm. so what i want to say that it uh you cannot remember this text like for instance if the commercial is written by chat dpt not by the human being it you you don't remember the text of the commercial it doesn't catch your attention that much because it's not that creative it's not you know sometimes in the commercials mm -hmm. you pay attention to the mistakes or something is wrong or something is like stupid or something like that mm -hmm. like you know and chat dpt it's like perfectly done text with no like almost no emotion sometimes it can put some a bit of humor or i don't know but it's not the same it's the quality still it's not the same if you want to be effective we tell our students don't use it don't it's for you and yes and no for exactly. the same time i mm -hmm. agree with you and not uh, agree let's say because i will explain why yeah mm -hmm. my point of view because look what i was telling you need to be always on top mm -hmm. to keep your position yeah and to grow same with the um, uh, market and the innovation and if your students will now learn how to use it right because what is the problem with uh, chat dbt yeah that you need to be able to ask him right question mm -hmm. to receive right answer if i will give you example uh, for example um, if you are running a small business you are selling let's say chocolate bars yeah okay and you will um, ask him Give me a marketing strategy for, I don't know, chocolate business. Okay. It will give you, but it will give you very, let's say, poor answer. The basics. Uh, yeah. And to be able to get the full information and right information and to use it with 100% potential, you need to ask him the following, let's say, um, give me to uh, help me to create a marketing plan uh i'm selling uh, chocolate bars i'm based in barcelona yeah like first of all you're giving direct, him uh, direction, direction where he need to look for mm -hmm. the market uh, i'm a small business i have like this inventory uh, my customers are this this and ask me like 20 questions to understand better which uh, strategic need i use Mm -hmm. So after he will analyze your location, what you are doing, and will give you like a 20 questions. You mm -hmm. need to answer as much as possible. Okay. And after, like create the marketing plan for me based on the answers I gave you. Okay. You see, like if so you... So it's more detailed. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is about even keeping jobs yeah, for the future. If everything will be with uh, AI, the availability of using it right to use the full potential, because it's the same was with, uh, let's say, Google search. Yeah, mm -hmm. Maybe I will search one thing, you will search the same thing. We will search with different words uh, and will be uh, came with a different results. Agreed. Yeah, same is now. So if the, you the, will the be answer, able yeah. to use it right, it will mm -hmm. be great tool. So for your students, you can teach them how to use it right. Maybe. But say uh, to tell them like, uh, meanwhile, use your brain, <laughs> you know. But and, the, the, the idea, yeah. I guess, nowadays with modern technologies is uh, yes to use it because it's stupid not to use it on the one hand. For I agree sure. here, like uh, simply world is moving on. As you are saying, there are a lot of new trends, new techniques that we have to use, but to use it smart. Yeah, and right? it's a new tool, you know, if you will learn your students how to use it in a right way, mm -hmm. how it can become the best friend best assistant you have I agree with you 100 yeah. percent in terms of digital marketing why i really like the approach of our business school so they're not frightened mm -hmm. uh we don't have the fear to use it mm -hmm. you know be afraid of any kind of new technology and then always stick to um, old-fashioned analysis you know read the books in the library um i don't think it's used anymore and we have such approach that guys yes you can use it uh, but make it personalized mm -hmm. uh, apart from the chat GPT text uh, apply something creative apply something add something from your side to mm -hmm. to make it personal. so yeah 
such combination, I think it's a win-win because it's up-to-date, it's modern, and it has something personal. Then mm -hmm. you can apply it to real life and have some kind of a success, at least a uh, successful final project. Without that, 100%. I think it's going to be 100%. difficult. And uh, for me, I'm more into, let's say, old-fashioned style <laughs> inside of me because <laughs> I'm a little bit old, let's say. And for me, always when it's come about innovation, new mm -hmm. things, I'm like, ah, again, yeah. you know? I have I don't, to do it. Yeah, I, I don't have wanna, to do it. For me, <laughs> let's say, uh, uh, about exploring the chat DBT, it was uh, torture by myself, yeah? Because mm -hmm. I was sitting at home, it's in the market, mm -hmm. and I'm like, ah, okay, let's see we how it's work, you know? Yeah, yeah. Agree. let's see how it's work. Mm -hmm. And I started by myself, like, uh -huh. you know, to see how I can use it in a right way. Uh, how I can get information mm -hmm. and understand like uh, the main point is to be able to ask him right question mm -hmm. to use it like uh, even with your uh, students you need to give them task with the right you know uh, questions to do list yeah. like do this 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 if you will not make it you, they, you will not get what what you want the results will be poor yeah. I mm -hmm. think it's not a problem, but it's a huge inconvenience mm -hmm. uh, that you always have to be up to date. For instance, of course, it's a dream, you know, get graduated and then mm -hmm. that's it. You get a diploma, you're graduated, you don't have to learn anything anymore. You're a professional and that's it. And you stopped your uh, education, earning knowledge, etc. But nowadays, as you said, it's absolutely not working. You have to push yourself every day with modern technologies because one day the chat GPT come up then we don't know what's going to happen the next day. And if you will stay at the same level and, you know, the whole mm -hmm. world will continue to move on, <laughs> you're definitely not going to be uh, the best person in the market. Can you guess how many masters I have? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I think. Let us know. Five. Yeah, it, it, it's it's Five. a tr tricky Five. question. Mm -hmm. Five. Five. Mm -hmm. And now ask me a question. How many of them I can use it now, the knowledge I get? Oh, good question. Yeah. Maybe 10, maximum 20% what I learned of five masters. Five. Yeah. Overall. Overall. Now are relevant. The rest, uh, disaster. Mm hmm. That's so why I like I'm it. learning during the process, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, now, my advice for the even young generation, like, I don't know, don't stick into the, let's say, your uh, master and just keep it as a granted. You need always to learn, Update. always, yeah, with yeah. your work. Otherwise, you will become out of the market. The same. Uh, that's why we have uh, master students who are so, some students there right after their bachelor degree, finishing their bachelor degree, but some of them, especially for the online programs, they're 30, 40, and it's already their fourth, fourth fifth master because mm -hmm. they want to be updated and it's more than normal. And that's why like it makes the groups like really interesting to participate in because imagine one guy who is 22 and he's really into the modern technologies new techniques mm -hmm. really into that and then someone who is 55 and but already has a lot of experience and it's like a perfect combination uh during the group discussions it, it makes it really interesting yeah yeah i agree with you but uh same time, it's horrible when you realize mm. that all your masters, they are zero for now, no <laughs> yeah. relevant. It's you spend a lot of reality. money. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember like, and f my first degree was more into finance mm -hmm. than audit, banking. Mm -hmm. And after like, let's say 2008, a lot of things yeah, about banking and Change. everything, they changed. And I was like, uh, why I have this knowledge? What I need to do now? Well, because during that time, you needed that. As a student. Reality. Yeah. <laughs> reality and now everything switching to the self-education i think because uh it's difficult for the university to predict all the trends and for instance mm -hmm. if the university create one program i know 10 years 20 years ago and they'll stick <coughs> with that for the years it's not modern it's not uh applicable anymore this is the same problem about you know universities because if the university is like a big huge like university and let's say about top universities, they are very mm -hmm. thick with the programs. They are like dinosaurs. Even with this, they are not willing same. to move the same way. They well, think that they are like smarter. Mm -hmm. 
But for the new small like uh, business schools, they are very smart. They are very like uh, faster. innovative, faster, yeah, and they are mm-hmm. like more flexible more to change something. I would say that's why more and more people are selecting business schools mm-hmm. for their education, not like uh, universities. Yeah, and also it changes a lot about the diploma, final diploma, final knowledge, because what the students want at the end mm-hmm. is like to to find a good job placement, to to or to have the knowledge that you can use actually. I never use my diploma to find a job. Yeah. I never saw them. I don't know where are they. That was one of my next questions, by the way. So no. you came to Barcelona how many years ago? Now it's six, five, six years. Okay. No. And could you ex- tell us your story more or less? Because uh, there are a lot of students who are coming to Barcelona. How to survive? <laughs> I don't oh, know. How to find a job? <laughs> Uh, because like uh, some people think that they come to Barcelona and everyone's waiting for them and uh, everything. So tell us the reality. No How one to... is waiting. No <laughs> exactly. One. No one. How? Even people are against Even that with you five are master here. programs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are not welcome because first of all, you came here. It means you still someone's job here, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, it doesn't matter that uh, like you, st- you, you are not stealing the job because the people here the, the level of the uh, let's say language knowledge is very poor yeah mm-hmm. and but anyway they are against you because uh, <laughs> you come to well, the competition job. is pretty yeah, high it's pretty high because uh it's a desirable place for all europe people who mm-hmm. live in europe you know young people to come here to enjoy the life sun sea food everything atmosphere atmosphere yeah, sure yeah like and sports. everyone the, it's Barcelona is dream. incredible I just remember here uh, from our school, maybe the less than 10% was able, like who was outside of the Europe, yeah, to stay here, to mm-hmm. find a job, because like to find a job without like a papers with the student visa, it's like, it was really hard. I know that now they changed something, mm-hmm. but it was like a hard competition. First of all, you need to learn language here, even yep. if you are not... Um, Uh, going to work for the local market, mm-hmm. you need to know the language. Yeah, it's that's what we say to our students. Yeah, it's it's possible to live here without any knowledge of Spanish, but if you would like to become, to socialize here, to become yeah. a highly valued specialist, even though, like, as you're saying, you don't need it for your job, learn Spanish. Because yeah. first of all, like, you live in Spain, so you have to respect Spain, as I think. Mm-hmm. Like, it's something normal, right? But then your chances to get a better job are higher. Yeah, but e- even if you are not uh, working with this language, exactly. people, uh, they respect wait. You. Yeah, but they wait also that you need to <laughs> speak with them you know, exactly Spanish. they treat you in a different way when you start exactly. to speak spanish with them uh or start even to speak, with mistakes uh, yeah, you know uh, with the native yeah. language but they see that you try to speak that mm-hmm. you have some knowledge and they just uh they treat you in a different way for instance when you start to speak english they're really afraid of you they see that you are not local that you distance, can, yeah right? the distance maybe yeah. you're just a tourist and they want to get more money from you and that's it but when you try to be friendly speak uh spanish or in barcelona mm-hmm. here for instance catalan wow you will feel the difference in one second exactly yeah, and for also me, catalan now it's very hard because <laughs> i'm already speaking like five languages And at the end of the day, I'm not able to speak uh, none of them. Any of them, yeah. <laughs> so better, better like uh, about like learning new language right mm-hmm. now. I think it will be most challengeable thing for me. I'm not ready to do it at all. <laughs> But for sure, yeah, like if you come from the beginning, if you want to learn, uh, st- live here, you need to learn it. And Which I one remember. Which languages you speak? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> let us know. Five. Let us know. We said five. Let us yeah, know. Let's it's, count. It's, it's a secret. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> try, okay. Let's let's try to guess. For for the. Um, I, no, I know four. Okay. Like. Uh, no, you don't. You don't say. Let's let's people write the comments. Let's okay. 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 Smart. Yeah. Okay. I guess let's we don't know, yeah, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. L- let's okay. see, like people try to uh, like li- leave a comments, try to guess <laughs> okay. the languages I can speak. Perfect. Uh, you were about to tell one story about the. Wh- no, wh- it was about jobs that like mm-hmm. uh, it was very hard to find a job here. You need just to be very. 
Could you give like three, five advices to the students who mm-hmm. just came here, how to find, like, uh, how to start? Uh, to find an internship, to find a job, like uh, how not to give up because it happens, you know, yeah. what happens a lot to, to students that they send three, five CVs and then they think it's it's done. Mm-hmm. Like first ad- advice, like you came here first month, you are starting to your, your I don't know, studies, mm-hmm. send the CVs from the first day, make a CV. Even before could be, before you could yes. come here. Uh, I sent maybe, of my first job here, here was in a PTC software mm-hmm. company. Uh, I sent maybe during one, one and a half year, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 CVs. When it was like a new position, I was just sending them, you know. And I was getting rejection, rejection, rejection. Uh, then I got there for the open doors day. Okay. Again, after the rejection, rejection. And after half year, one and a half year, I get the chance for the interview. Okay. And, and I got it, you know. But uh, all my like uh, friends here, everyone told me like, ah, give up. You will not get it. Like you are mm-hmm. sending already. I don't know how many CVs and no, no one, reply. yeah, no reply. So, okay, so never give up. Never like, give up. Just never give up. Be consistent. Yeah. And don't take it close to your heart because yeah, nothing you know, personal. for someone, yeah, they they see that they got rejected and they start to think that oh, I'm a bad professional. I'm not well educated or mm-hmm. don't deserve that position. Something like that, and that's. Mm, wrong approach you need to understand mm-hmm. one thing not you the mm-hmm. students yeah who will if are coming here that mostly the process of selecting your cv is so uh, um, uh, digitalized again yes yeah it's just going with the uh, computer with uh, le- let's say uh, search words you need to fi- uh, fill your cv with the right position you are applying because it will scan if it mm-hmm. will not find the right words your skills that you are matching you will not even get the chance that the hr the human even will reason. read it yeah, exactly. it's automatically like uh, yeah, rejected yeah mm-hmm. so what we say for instance what you can do as an advice you can read the job description of what exactly. they are looking for and put exactly. these keywords into yeah. your cv yeah. each time when you are applying mm-hmm. for a new position you need to little bit change your cv mm-hmm. adapt it yeah. right to that mm-hmm. and then like okay so first of all you need to send your cvs what else you can do networking events networking open doors mm-hmm. it's like very m- job markets with uh, mm-hmm. there are a lot of events in barcelona yeah, yeah, yeah. right you need to make your network let's say bigger wider because in this case as i mentioned you that uh, the process of selecting the service is very like digital mm-hmm. di- digitalized um if you will have a network you will have a direct contact with someone from mm-hmm. hr you will speak with them have a small talk about your ideas mm-hmm. about your i don't know experience and what you want you will have more chance to get that you know, exactly. because it will the help you, you know. build it's the personal, personal connection. It's personal. Always. It's, it's not the yeah. computer Always. looking through a CV, but you're communicating with a, a live human being, and that's like definitely the higher mm-hmm. chance. And I, I hear a lot of events for the startups, for uh, for the experts. They're mm-hmm. more usually like more friendly yeah. and more willing to hire interns yeah. because it's easier to start here if you're not from the European Union within with an internship, right? Yeah. Well, then the company might hire you so that they see that actually you're worth but it, it's work very experience. Hard. It is, it yeah. is, <laughs> but it's possible. <laughs> it's possible, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. so that, that that's a great example. Let's go back to digital marketing. Yes. What are the trends in the content marketing nowadays? How do you see that? How is it changing? Uh, I think the content... Uh, now it will become for the future mm-hmm. let's say time the main source of getting the customers followers based mm-hmm. on the activity you are doing because even um, the google ads and the all ads yeah was mm-hmm. like very uh, let's say powerful tool they become in my point of view less relevant because when you are on the social platform as um, facebook instagram or TikTok somewhere, you are there searching, I don't know, for education, mm-hmm. for fun, for any activity. You you are not there just to make a, 
to buy something, you know. Yes. Yeah, exactly. you are not in the yeah. supermarket or in the shop, and when it's just all time pop up, you know, like uh, I don't know shoes, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> shirt, I don't know perfume, something. You are getting exhausted with this. Like uh, stop mm-hmm. selling me. I'm here for another reason, you know. Mm-hmm. And if you will be able to create the content, mm-hmm. which will be innovative, intellectual, mm-hmm. or for fun, you know. Catching, it will, it catching. will, yeah, it will change the outcome you will mm, get from the people because they will come to check your page mm-hmm. to see what news you have for them, what uh, fun things you have for them. And it will give you like a uh, lot of new emotions because we see that for doing the sales at the end of the day, whatever we are doing, we are generating the revenue, yeah? We need like to make the sales. You need emotions because people, they buy the things based on their emotions. They don't need the description, you know. Mm-hmm. There is, uh, I don't know, perfume, 50 milliliter, this, 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 uh, I don't know, mm-hmm. aromas inside. No, they need some emotions. You that put it, you will, yes, it. you feel mm-hmm. young, you, need, you feel energetic and you need to be able to show it uh, with your like uh, content. Well, that's uh, what our newer marketing program mainly is yes, about, yes. right? There are yeah. lots of tricks, for instance. You can use powerful words to make uh, people purchase your product. You can uh, apply the right colors because in our programs we learn what color, the definition of the color and what emotion color creates in people's mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, any kind of social behavior, it's extremely important for us. It, during our programs, we learn a lot of tricks that mm-hmm. we can apply. Mm-hmm. And for instance, uh, the regular person who is just scrolling uh, the phone, he will never get, um, is there a, in your marketing or there is not? It, it's going to be something emotional like, oh, I like it more. Mm-hmm. Uh, it it, it looks uh, better and I have some feelings about that advertisement. And another one, he'll just scroll it up. But the difference in amount of work you apply it to one picture and another it's huge yeah. uh, there is an insane gap mm-hmm. uh, like the analysis for the first one and just and you know the random pictures for the second one uh, uh, Henry, do you remember you told me one day about the uh, the power of the colors as well the combination of colors yes in marketing yes, which yeah. ones were the the blue Orange, red, like this combination, mm-hmm. they are like uh, the most powerful, most powerful one. ones, and they are like different com- combination too. But when you use them in the photo, or mm-hmm. all them in one place, they really become like very Great powerful. Impact. Yeah, right. and for sure, like everyone knows that if there is something yellow, it's need about sales. You know mm-hmm. that it has a discount <laughs> immediately. Yeah. Yeah. If oh, you oh, red. Yeah. Red yes. and yellow, the most popular car- car- colors we can see in supermarkets, or they are also associated uh, with uh, the food. For mm-hmm. instance, like McDonald's, Burger King, mm-hmm. uh, restaurants, lots of them use uh, red and yellow colors. Also mm-hmm. the shape, you know, if there is a triangle all round, Fetzel. it also has like a meaning about mm-hmm. when you're choosing your logo, what you want to transmit. transmit yeah, to the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Exactly. I also know that you are a great fan of uh, storytelling. Why, what, how could you tell us social, uh, storytelling tricks? Another trick for yeah. social media <laughs> content. Or some advice. Uh, first of all, um, you need to be very uh, emotional, mm-hmm. deep, and it should be personal. Yeah, what you are doing, it should be touching the people who are who, whom you are trying to reach. You need to give them this security, what they will receive if they will join you, your mm-hmm. community, you know. Nowadays, the like, community, it's very powerful thing. People want to be a part of the community. Yes. Because even with our digital world, people becoming lonely more than mm-hmm. before with social media yes and for is, yeah, for instance for mm-hmm. the you know, uh, so business school this community that you are together you are like uh, a part of one group you know it's bring people together and what is the mission and the vision mm-hmm. most like uh, important things it was always in the marketing the mission of the vision and i think is the only two things they will never change 
because for sure you will you need to um, tell people about this it's That's very important clear. because as i say no one want to buy something based on the criteria they won't know mm. uh, what is your vision what is your mission for what they are spending their money you know the value of that yeah the right? value of yeah. this sure the reason why and what problem you're solving so because just uh, if you really understand your product yeah mm -hmm. uh, and you will be very emotional and don't even be um, scared to be vulnerable with your mm -hmm. emotions because it's really like impact people you know they see some uh details which they have inside of them and they become very secure with this so you need to use this like deep deep emotions with your storytelling okay perfect and let's go back to your job at google what is that you like mainly about your job how how do you find it <laughs> oh because you have a pretty high position at google um i like the flexibility first mm -hmm. of all Uh, I think um, COVID <laughs> brings this flexibility to mm -hmm. my life and all. with to all of lives. Yeah, people, mm -hmm. I really enjoy it because now I'm more flexible with choosing the location from where I'm working, mm -hmm. with my time, how I uh, will divide my time during the day. Yeah, will choose my meeting. Also, I really like uh, enjoy when I'm let's say working by myself okay. <laughs> it's a little bit extrovert no. thing you know yeah. because i remember when you are working all time from the office like a huge people near you everyone is speaking everyone mm -hmm. is yelling speaking with the customers mm -hmm. and i was getting anxious i was like ah yeah. no and i now, need to focus <laughs> right yeah i can be at my it. home just <laughs> like uh, on my sofa with my laptop and yeah I really like it. Also, I like uh, the, my job because it's more about um, digital st stuff, which means uh, I'm speaking with uh, customers, not, let's say, so much. Yeah. Okay. We have a meeting. I understand what they need after I'm doing everything with my laptop. Mm -hmm. And that's it. I so that's a I, I'm a little bit extrovert and in, I'm into in the between of uh, extrovert <laughs> and introvert you know I have like some days mm -hmm. where I feel more like into one part mm -hmm. the other day another part so <laughs> it's gave me let's say my my brain time to rest when I'm needed yeah great thank you a lot we have prepared a small quiz for you Mm, the last good. one questions so you need to reply just fast without thinking a lot the the first one that comes up to to your mind okay you know so what was the most memorable book that you read recently something that had an impact on you <clears throat> De definitely sapiens mm -hmm. and it's uh oh, wow yeah, it's, a great yeah. one. it's become my favorite uh it's uh consists of the three parts sapiens mm -hmm. homo deus and um 21 century from mm -hmm. uh 21 lesson from 21st century uh and the second book the homo deus is bring the um, about the this digital let's say uh, stuff which going on yeah about mm -hmm. that even the religion maybe in the future like will change into some digital way mm -hmm. it's really interesting uh and right now i'm reading the humans are not from earth it's okay. another book I don't know. It's like PhD, uh -huh. but little bit, let's say, uh, with a fantasy. I really enjoy it. Two okay. of them. Interesting. Great ones. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, the next question. What piece of advice would you give to your younger self? Uh, <laughs> don't <We> waste <laughs> your time <laughs> with your masters, like collecting <laughs> one by one. No, I will, I will, I will just say myself, be more brave and mm -hmm. just do what you want and what you really like, because I was learning finance, banking, audit, yeah, and all this stuff because uh, my parents, they want that I learned and I was learning. But mm -hmm. right now, if I will be myself, I will tell them, no, mm -hmm. I have digital marketing, that's it, bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know? so just, be yeah, more... just be focused on what you want. If you need a time, you... you Take one year break, you figure out what you want to study, and after you study. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Three things that you would change about the world in general. Uh, Anything. War. Mm -hmm. That it will be no war. 
Yeah. Hunger, because mm-hmm. lot of people it's shame that we like uh, countries they are spending millions, millions of uh, dollars, euros on the war right now. Yeah, but in Africa and in the third world countries, like kids, they are dying because of the hunger of lack of water. It's it's the most biggest cr- crime I think in mm-hmm. uh, nowadays. And the third, um, it will be that everyone has the right to receive the health care, you know, okay. because again, in Europe, it's great because you are not thinking about health care, the country is taking care. But again, a lot of countries, yeah. yeah, from where I from or you, uh, People are mm-hmm. suffering. They cannot even get the pills. The especially old people who have exactly. like a chronic uh, disease. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. It's like super expensive. Mm-hmm. So, free health care for everyone. Yeah, would be amazing. That's really important, I think. No, I'm more for humanity. <laughs> Peace in the world. Everyone will be happy. Mm-hmm. Um, and for the second, not for the second, but the next question, tell about your failures. For instance, something you failed and then how you managed with that. Oh, mm-hmm. I failed in uh, so many things, <laughs> mm-hmm. but uh, I think th- I'm proud of myself when I'm failing. I never have this like, oh, I failed, I cannot do it. I'm just, okay, you failed, keep going. Keep going till you will not fail, you know? Mm-hmm. Just if I want it, I will get it. I will just continue to do it as many times as I need to get it. Talent. Yeah. Really stubborn. Yeah. Perfect. What inspires you? What inspires me? Mm-hmm. Myself. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah. God. Maybe it's very selfish and egoistic, <laughs> but I'm always uh, inspiring by myself. Like, uh, do it if you want it, because I know if I will do it, it if I will get it. I will be, I don't know, happy, yeah, for mm-hmm. instance, or so why not to do it? Do you have the strategy, for instance, every day um, to make better self, you know, just... Uh, mm-hmm. No. Uh, no? no. <laughs> I'm already I, perfect. No, not, not already perfect, I think, like, everyone is perfect in mm-hmm. all way. Mm-hmm. You, if you born in this uh, world, so you are mm-hmm. perfect already. So don't be very judgmental. One day, oh, you, as, I, as I told you, yeah, in my job, one day I want to stay at home because I'm not feeling like okay to meet like people. Mm-hmm. So I will give myself this time to rest and everyone need to be more, let's say, kind by themselves. I'm not uh, talking about being lazy and not doing stuff at all. No, but don't mm-hmm. be critical and judgmental. If you need one day mm, for yourself, take this day. Don't do nothing even. Just read book or I don't know, watch TV. But give yourself the time to -hmm. recharge. Because when you will like feel that you are enough with Mm -hmm. doing nothing, next day you will be like a super productive. Let's do this, 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 Mm -hmm. this, this. If you will just like work, 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 you will burn out. You Mm -hmm. will be without zero motivation to keep Mm -hmm. going. I think no. it's really healthy, you need to healthy enjoy. approach. Yeah, Definitely. you need to enjoy the process. Okay, let's talk about superpower. If you had one, which one? <laughs> Imagine, you're a superhero. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think the telegenes, yeah? It's okay. It's like this, yeah, telegenes. I would like to have this power to have the availability to move the things with the brain power yeah, and to read the minds. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. Yeah, it's very scary. interesting, you know. Scary, because, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to know what is going on mm-hmm. there. What is the new coming like a tools <laughs> in <laughs> <Yeah>. the marketing? <laughs> in the future. Yeah, someone is thinking, hmm, now the AI will become creative. I'm, okay, now I know <laughs> it. <laughs> the first one. Okay, any fears you have or something that you are scared of? Sharks. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's my biggest and only fear in the world, sharks. Do you feel safety in Barcelona? <laughs> when I'm in the city, yes. <laughs> what about the sea? <clears throat> when I'm in the shore, I mean in the shore, but in the sand, you know, not inside the water. So yes, but if I'm going like, uh, when you don't touch water, I'm like, uh, no, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not feeling okay anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think it's more phobia. 
one of the, 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 the last questions, the most important thing for you in life in general? The life. To live a life the way that uh, you will never regret and you will feel satisfaction with your life and with how you're living. Don't be at the end, you know, like, I need to, like, have done things in a different way. No, I don't ha- want to have this feeling. To really enjoy your life. To live like it's, it's the last day, Not right? Not the last day, but to do the things you really like, you are proud of yourself, and to be in a balance with you, with your inside, you know? Uh, could you give any, this is the, the last question, mm-hmm. could you give any advice to the people who are, you know, now lost, don't know what to do, don't know where to start, you know, these moments in life, especially when you are a foreigner in Barcelona and mm-hmm. you come here and no one is accepting you as a, uh, no one is giving you a job, no, no one wants you, you have this feeling, you know, when, when, when you are desperate. Desperate. Mm-hmm. Try to find the inspiration. Give mm-hmm. your give yourself a time. Don't mm-hmm. be harsh on yourself. Yeah, mm-hmm. and by giving time, it need to be let's say uh, with a deadline, mm-hmm. one week, one month. You know, two months. But you know that I'm giving myself this time to find what I really want. To focus on the thing really like inspires me. I like, and you need just to um, take a notes. What I like in this life, I don't know. This, 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 this. In what I'm good in, in this, this, this. You know, just to make the points. What you like, what you are good in, what will bring me income. What can I do with this, like a skills? You know, to find the better, and using all these like um, notes at mm-hmm. the end, you will see. Okay, so in first I'm good this. In second part this. Third this. If you will mix them, you will have the let's say, uh, the best thing you can do to be uh, motivated, to have satisfaction level and to receive the money at the end, you know. Obviously. Uh, yeah, and it will help you to find out the perfect position, uh, like a job position for yourself. Great. Thank you a lot. Thank you for Thank the Thank you a lot, Henry. Thank you for having me. It was really nice to know you, to talk with you. I really enjoy it. Thank, Thank you. you a lot. So today we had a talk about digital marketing trends, about uh, chat GPT, about how to survive in Barcelona. Yeah. So it was really interesting to know it from you, uh, how to become a high level specialist from the beginning. Like, yeah. you know. Hopefully my uh, <laughs> experience, what I shared will inspire, be, not inspire, help or guide someone to sure yeah, it do it easier than I'm I did. Sure Wish you lots of luck in your professional and personal life. Thank you. So thank, thank you. you a lot. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>